Hello, Charles. Um, I, I know that you are the forger of the ring. So I have to ask you, I think your character is a, a good person. How does he allow obsession to leak into the ring? It's a very good question. He, it, it happens subliminally. I mean, we're not quite there yet, I have to say, but um, I think when we find him, uh, he, he's, he kind of feels that he's, he's achieved all he can in terms of cre create creativity. And um, he's a little uh, worried about that. And it's, he's kind of having a bit of a crisis. Um, and he's, he's searching for something that he doesn't know what it is yet. And uh, and I think he's searching for something that's really going to crown him as a as an extraordinary uh, extraordinary creator, and I think that in pursuit of that, that's where his obsession, that's where the obsession drip drip drips into his into his pursuits. One has to wonder since um, your role is so pivotal in everything that comes afterwards. What degree of guilt do you have that you absolutely uh, make a piece of jewelry that can ruin the world? Me as Charles, no, <laughs> yes. guilt, no guilt at all, none at all. <laughs> I know that this uh, ha has been uh, very closely guarded. When you got the role, did you have to hide it from your friends or how open could you be? We, we had to be very quiet about everything. Um, and I mean, I, most of us, I believe, when we got the roles, we didn't know what the roles were. Um, that was, there was a delay on that information, on that little that little technicality was divulged only later. But um, we all knew, we were all so happy to be part of this thing. You know, you don't you don't uh, you don't question it too much. But I did have an extra I w extra thrill when I when I looked him up and saw who he was. I had no idea if he was a canon character or not, um, but then I, I saw, I, I Googled him and I was very, very happy. But yes, you had to keep quiet. So what um, aspect of him was most challenging for you to create? And um, how did you connect with him the most? What was most like you? What was the biggest breach? I think creating him, you can't, anticipate what happens to him. Back to your point about obsession. I think uh, because some extreme things come his way later on, further down the line. And as you say, the, 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 the creation of the rings, um, you can't play, you gotta get there. You can't sort of play commenting on, on what's coming later. Um, and I guess in terms of similarity, I would say his impatience is probably uh, what I have most in common with him. <laughs> His general impatience with the world. I, I, I share that. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. Can't Not at all. Lovely to see you. Thank you. Bye-bye.